All right, so today is on Monday, January 25th, and it's a great day on Roosevelt Island because it was the opening day of the Roosevelt Island new public library branch. And I'm here with Carlos Chavez, who's the branch librarian, who's going to take us on a tour. Hello, everyone. It's hello, a great day, Carlos. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, hello, Roosevelt Islanders. I'm Carlos Chavez, the library manager, and I'm going to give you a tour of our beautiful new library. So we're going to start off with the vestibule, so please, please come right in. So currently we're only open for grab and go services. What does that mean? It means that you can only return library items and pick up library items that you request in advance online or over the phone. So if you're just returning items, you would drop them in this um, rooftop over here and then you would exit the library. That's only for returns. And then follow me, I'll show you um, the interior. Now you're far away. <laughs> so this way, what you see over here to, in front of me is the area where we're going to keep all the holes. So if you ever have holes to pick up, you're going to find them over here in that section that Rick is recording right now. And uh, the first thing you would do is take a temperature check over here. And once your temperature is okay, you would proceed and your holes here and then you would just follow the arrows that you see on the floor and these arrows will lead you to the self-checkout express lane uh, are there already holds here right now yes as you can see there's some holds we're expecting to get a lot more in the coming days as well as a lot of returns I'm gonna stop over here on this section and just show you the historical archives this is where we keep, we're, we're keeping all the historical archives uh, dating back to when the island was known as Blackwell's Island and Welfare Island, and especially the period when residents started to move to the island in the late 70s, early 80s. So what are the examples of the historical archives? So we have the Main Street Wire in its entirety. I'm sorry. It's inception in the 80s, up until the last issues that were published. And we also have uh, the Island View, which was the paper before the Main Street Wire. And we have hundreds of newspaper clippings from different sources, like the New York Times, the New York Post, the Daily News about Roosevelt Island. We also have uh, some photographs of model shoots that they did over here. They, they took pictures of, of it's a model shoots here, and, and we have them in the in the newspaper clipping section. We also have um, the Roosevelt collection, which is right over here. And this is everything regarding the Roosevelt period uh, like the 1940s, major events like the Great Depression, World War II, and so forth. So let's let's continue. I have two lines, thank you for coming. Okay, great, I will. You have to have some time she printed out whenever you get a chance. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. You're, welcome. You're welcome, thank you. So over here what we have is the adult collection. It's all non-fiction. You can see the book directory over here and over here as well. So you can find the subject that you're looking for based on the book directory. I'm gonna also point out the community room. You can step in and get a bit better view. So you'll remember that at the old location. We were in a really small space, we didn't have a room. Now we finally have one, which is almost the size of our old location. And this is going to be for programs, lectures, presentations, arts and crafts, different things. And we're so glad that we finally got this space. We also have a chalkboard over there. And in the future, we're going to have a, a big TV monitor for. Um, movies and, and presentations, lectures. Yeah, the lighting in here is great. Yes, the lighting is excellent. And the outdoor space over here, is that going to be used for anything? So, uh, Riyadh is in charge of this space and I was told that they're going to renovate it and, and they're going to definitely uh, make it an area that can be used by by the residents of the island, and we look forward to partnering with them and working with Riyadh on, on future programs 
that we can have here in this space. It'd be great to be able to sit outside and read, read a book. And... Absolutely. I was told that it's supposed to be a combination of a reading space uh, slash program area. So um, we can't wait. We can't wait for that to get started. Will there be Wi-Fi access? Uh... So we have Wi-Fi in the library. Right now, as I said earlier, we don't, we're only providing grab-and-go service. But, um, but the Wi-Fi, you can actually pick it up from from this area over here outside. It's okay, continuing this way, you'll see our desktops. We have a total of 12 desktops for adults and teens. At the previous location, we only had three desktops, so that's a huge improvement. Very thankful for that. We also have 11 laptops available for anyone that wants to use them. So remember that at the moment there's no computer use and browsing of the collection, but we look forward to um, in the future offering the, the computers to the, to the community. Yeah. You'll see the, the rest of the adult collection. This is all fiction. So we have uh, general fiction followed by um, mystery, romance, thrillers, and uh, world languages. Right here to the right, you'll see our DVD collection. Is the book collection basically the same collection you had at the old library just moved over here, or is there a, so, any additions so we, to it? We brought a majority of our old collection from the old location, but we added 6,000 new items to that collection, so we have a lot more to offer to the community now, 6,000 more items. And if you look this way over here, you'll see the teen area and the teen space. So this is their collection. We have graphic novels, fiction, nonfiction, as well as pet and college guides right here. And next to the teen area, you'll see the circulation desk. And you can continue this way. Over here, you'll see the adult uh, CDs music CDs and over here in this area you'll see audiobooks and large print also for adults you can see uh, we have these signs next to each each section so that mm -hmm. patrons can easily find what they're looking for okay so now we're gonna move on to the children's room so this is our beautiful children's room has an excellent view of the river and it's very spacious. If you remember the, the children's section at the old location, it was a lot smaller than this. Now we have more space. There were no computers in the children's room. Now you can see there's a total of seven computers, six actually, because this is a reservation terminal. We have six desktops for children. And um, we have these two tables over here. This one's supposed to go with um, cushions around and then the other one is for the, for the chair. And then um, this is the collection. We have the, um, the early readers, young readers, fiction, followed by nonfiction, picture books, and reference. It's gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. And that's, that's the end of our, our tour of our new library. We look forward to seeing you here. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Carl. You're welcome.